I came across an article, and I was just, I was thinking about myself, uh, because I have never been a type of woman who would even entertain a married man. That's number one. I never had a married man come across, with, come across my path, trying to holler at me, inbox me. I never had that. So they must already see she's not the type of woman that's going to believe my game. I have never been the type of woman who will sleep with someone's boyfriend. Any person that had a, was in a situation was a person that was single. I always felt it a disrespect to another woman to lay down with her husband. I thought it was wrong to contribute to the breakdown of a household because I'm not loving myself as a woman or because I'm desperate for dick. And I would never want children to go without a two-parent home because the mother or the because the father decided to cheat. I could never be that type of woman. I love myself way too much to be so desperate for dick that I am willing to sell my soul for dick and be mistreated and lied to and manipulated. And to be in a situation with a man where I have to worry about whether or not he's gonna go back to his wife. That has never been me. That would never be me. Be me. Now I would say that I may have had some lack of self love for myself because I married a man that was no good for me. My attention was good, but I could have did without him. And now I'm having a hard time getting rid of him. No, I'm not with him. Let's let's put that up there. I'm not with him, but I gotta come out of pocket to get a divorce because he contested it because he doesn't want it, and I don't want to be with him. And he won't sign a petition, so now I have to spend money to get the divorce. And it's kind of sad that the female that he cheated with really thinks this man loves her and respects her. It's kind of sad. That's what you call being desperate. So I have never been that type of woman who want another woman's man. Ever. I have three relationships in my life. Two to the married, to the man I married, and a and the one I'm with now, who is single, and we are in a monogamous relationship. So I have never been that type of woman, and I'm very proud of myself for not being so desperate for dick that I would disrupt the home, whether it's happy or not, because I'm not loving myself enough, or I don't know my worth that I'm willing to share a man and be with a married man who doesn't see fit to divorce his wife to marry me on top of that. That's kind of sad. But that's why I decided to share this article. Insecure women with low self-esteem are the worst hit. They require love and self-validation the most and demonstrate these qualities without even knowing it. Like an invisible aura around you, desperation envelopes you and make you a magnet of attraction that attracts the type of mate who within himself is also insecure deep down inside or a manipulator or an outspent failure of a man who requires an insecure and an inconfident woman like you to validate his manhood and assert the authenticity of himself he's not with you because he loves you because he likes you and want to spend the rest of his time with he's with you because you gave him the attention that he needed to validate him. And that shit right there is freaking the sad. The truth is that some women are so transparent. It is very easy to see through them. Some are overly emotional and clingy. It is very easy for that man to be able to use them. However. And. Versally the same is true for a strong. Emotionally stable. Happy and independent woman. Boom. She is never desperate. The insecure male who goes after desperate women will be scared away by such her unusual strength because he knows deep down inside this type of woman will call him out on his bullshit and won't put up with it. Don't even dare. But when you call uh, this type of man out on his bullshit, he's going to call you crazy. And that's a fact. He's going to call you crazy. He's going to try to make it seem like you're lying. And he's going to run. Prime example. He won't even do He knows that man can't come and go out of her life and she will be just fine. Why? Because her self-worth 
comes from within and is not dependent on any man. A real man will also sense this on a subconscious level, subconscious level, and he will be attracted to her. This is the kind of man she needs who is also strong and damn well. I do I not want a weak man. I'm sorry. And I hate to say this. My experienced husband is and was a weak man. And there's no way in hell that I want him back. There's nothing. I'm, I don't even think he would. He already proved that he's not capable of protecting me and our daughter. He already showed, he already demonstrated that. And my sister made a valid point to me. She was like, he he, st he stays with the side chick because she validates him. He knows that he can try to come back to you. He knows that if she, you, she knows that this, this female knows that he's not divorced from you, doesn't want to divorce you. She knows that he wants to be, wants his marriage back. And she is still willing to. To be with him. That's why he's not there because she he loves her. He's there because she validates him as a man. She makes him feel worthy. And the reason why he wants to stay married to me. Because staying married to me validate him as, as a man. Because he can say I got, that's my wife. Even though we're not together. We have no communication. We have nothing to go on. But holding on to that title of me being his wife validates him. You understand? So he is, I'm sorry to say... Is and that, has, that says something about me as a woman to have married that. And to have married that. See, I could, I could take accountability. But I began loving myself. And I removed myself for this. And I got, me a, whole, I got a, a man in my life right now who's not married. Who doesn't have any baby mama drama. Who loves me, honors me, and respects me. As well as my children and my household. And he knows. That if he started to be acting crazy, I would cut him off without no doubt. Because my love is not dependent on no man. I love myself enough to say, you know what, I'm not putting up with that shit. I deserve better. My love is dependent on me, not some man. Let me. I love sharing my story. Okay, where was I? Uh, he knows that man can't come and go out of her life and she will be just fine. Why? Because her suffering comes from within and is not dependent on any man. A real man will also sense this on a subconscious level and be attracted to her. This is the kind of man she needs who is also strong and confident. We often like who we are. A real man who is resilient, self-assured, confident, loving, and sincere will be born with the clingy, desperate woman. It's way too easy for him, and he will bulldoze them over. Real men prefer their woman, a little unattainable. Desperate women are easy lay. They excite no one. If it is too cheap, it can't be there. And this article is written by man. Real men might not even want to dump. Real men might not even want to dump the vulnerable and the desperate woman because they want to. But because it's in his nature not to keep ordinary desperate women around them. They get bored easy. He needs and wants a woman who challenges and engages him mentally, physically, and will call him out when he's wrong, advise him, and argue politely with him, and not someone who is too agreeable like a dull bimbo. He needs someone who will so also support, love, and stand by him forever. So when these immature men grow up and begin loving, to, loving himself and believing in himself, that desperate woman, they ain't going to want that no more. They're not going to want that no more. They're going to want that strong woman. A desperate woman is a desperate woman is too engrossed with the desire to marry that she forgets to, she forgets to enjoy her life. This real man does not want an AI, AI woman. He wants someone who will tell him the truth. Yes, people who don't help us grow and develop. Only the truth does. If you are confident within yourself, you can be honest and tell the truth to a man. He will love you for it. But when you are unsure of what his response will be and you are scared of losing him because of fear of not getting another man, you do your all to please him. And yes, to all his stupid demands and end up annoying him 
Heartache results and you cast every man in the same horrendous shade. This is so sad. I beseech you to be that independent, strong will, supremely confident, secure woman that men swoon to and can't get enough of. I find troublesome women really sexy and attractive. The excitement, confidence is the most profound makeup a woman can adorn. No one dumps a confident girlfriend. But make sure you do not cross over her brass and prudence and pride. There's a thin, fine line. You can only achieve this by loving you and making a forest life for yourself independent as a man. Wow. And the guy, the, the man that I'm seeing right now involved with, I asked him. What is it that you see in me that made you want to be with me? He said, you got a strong mind. And that's the first time that I heard a man say that. It wasn't about no body parts. It wasn't my smile. It wasn't my outfit. It was because he, he said, I had, he was attracted to my mind. That means I've grown. No woman, no strong, independent woman wants a weak-ass man that's afraid to tell the truth, that can't take the truth. And when you call him out on his bullshit, he call you crazy and run like a little bitch. That's sad. But this article, let me give credit where credit is due because I did not write this article. This article was taken from Glowville.net, the characteristic and nature of a desperate woman. You are desperate when you are willing to lay down with a married man and share that married man, knowing he has a wife and a family. You are desperate to believe that he loves you when he is only using you and manipulating you to get what you want. You are desperate when you get pregnant by this individual on purpose, knowing that this man can't afford to take care of your child, but you have this baby anyway to keep this man connected to you. For the next 18 years. Or 21 or whatever. Desperate women do shit like that. Strong independent woman is not afraid to call a man out on his bullshit. She's not afraid to get up and walk away from an unhealthy relationship. Love comes from within. And you're willing to play pussy. You're going to get fucked. Point blank. Because a man... These women want to call these men fuckboys and stupid. No, they are not stupid. They are not fuckboys. They are very smart. Because they can tell when you are needy, clingy, desperate, and thirsty for dick. And all they got to do is play on your, play on that. Tell you everything they think you want to hear. And boom, they ain't even got to work for it. You're going to give it up because you're desperate and thirsty for a man instead of... I would rather be single by myself than be in an unhealthy relationship with a man who doesn't respect me. Doesn't all in me. And doesn't value me. Peace, blessings, and a whole lot of love. God is idea.